welcome, Adventures with Disabilities peeps. Hey everyone following along, check it out. Guess what today marks? Can you guess what today marks? One week since back surgery, which means I only have 11 weeks to go because it's a 12-week recovery. I was told these, like, nausea ginger chews taste good. So I don't know if it's just because I've had COVID. And for me, ever since getting COVID a couple of years ago, I sometimes with certain foods, they taste disgusting. Ah! Don't want to eat the wrapper. Anyway, I'm going to try this to see if it helps. Uh, don't mind my messy hair when I wash it and don't dry it. I have natural curly hair, and so it just kind of does its own little wavy curl. Anyways, let's see if these ginger chews help my nausea so I can get up and start doing my walking exercises. Well, we'll see you a little bit later. Today is over one week since my uh, spinal fusion surgery. If you have been following along, awesome. If you have not, quick recap. I got hit by a car several years ago and it finally has caught up to me all these years later. And now I had to have a back fusion where they replaced a section of my bone in my lumbar spine. And they also added rods and screws to stabilize it so it would quit putting pressure on my spinal nerves. It's been a week since surgery. And here's what I can tell you about the recovery process. You guys, it's going to come in waves like you're riding a roller coaster. Last night, I was in so much pain that I said, it's cool, man. I have lived almost 40 years this year. And boy, have I lived in that amount of time. It's cool. If it's my time to exit, I'm okay with that because I can't deal with this pain anymore. I was frustrated. I was crying. I was sad. I did not know how I was going to make it to today because the pain was so excruciatingly horrendous that I did not care what it took. I just wanted someone to get me out of here. Last night, I really contemplated leaving this world because it did not matter what position I was put in. I couldn't get comfortable. My back was in so much pain. But then I take the pain medications and I get such horrendous nausea that I've actually puked several times. And I stand up and get dizzy and vertigo. I knew recovery was going to be tough, but I didn't know it was going to be this tough. My goal today is to walk. I'm supposed to walk every 30 minutes. How the heck do you get up and walk every 30 minutes a week after back surgery? Honestly, you don't. And if you've had back surgery and you could get up every 30 minutes and walk, you are inspiring to me because I don't know how the heck you can do that? Goals. This is my number one goal right now in a week after my surgery. This, this, this lovely granny walker, which matches my lovely granny Moo Moo, which my husband, Jason, likes to call a prairie dress because he says it looks like I'm in Little House on the Prairie, which fine by me because in Little House on the Prairie, they didn't have cars. They either walked to where they were going or had to ride a horse. I don't have a horse, so the only option is to walk. 
which is what doctors want me to do anyway. So guess I'll be walking the plains of my carpet in my prairie dress. Did I kind of get an accent saying prairie? I don't know. That's funny. Anyways, goals. Get rid of this guy. I have to get rid of this walker as soon as I possibly can. It is driving me insane. I feel like I can't get anywhere. The wheels like to get stuck on like the carpet and the rugs and I almost trip. Not a good idea. So the objective is if I sit this off to the side, I slide back over to the banister railing and I use the banister railing to do my walking exercises. And that'll help me ditch this lovely thing. The other part of the problem that you have is after back surgery, you are given detailed instructions. Do not stoop, bend, pivot, twist, turn, Basically, just pretend you're a two by four and be a straight, stiff board, no matter what you're doing. That's difficult to do, but here we are with my back brace on. Uh, you'll notice this sticker back here. Yeah, sticker on my back brace is powered by jelly beans. <sighs> Send me some jelly beans. I need power. We're gonna do this today, and I don't know how we're gonna do it because after the night I had last night, I am discouraged. But no matter how discouraged I get, I have a tiny bit of hope. And that's the thing about determination that most people do not understand. Most people think determination means you have to have this grandiose thing inside of you in order for it to happen. The best thing about determination is all you need is this tiny little sliver of hope and you can get started. Determination is just getting started and doing the things you don't want to do, but you know you have to do if you're going to recover from back surgery. How many laps can I do? I don't really know, but let's do this, guys. We are determined to not give up. I wanted to give up last night, but today I'm going to try my best to not give up. You get to watch me walk. And I hope as you're watching me walk, you will realize that you have more inside of you than you know. We all have times where we think we can't go on. I am at that time right now where I just think I can't go on. But look at me. Somehow, I'm going on. <sighs> There's a willpower inside of me that is not very strong right now. But I'm running with the tiny little bit of willpower that I have. Because life is not easy. It is hard. And the harder it gets, the more I just want to give up and quit. But like I said, that's the great thing about determination. You don't have to have this big giant thing inside of you to have it. All you have to have is this little tiny bit of hope and the determination will come from that. And you will start step by step, little by little. My videos are not gonna be perfect because you have to understand that when you have medical problems, and you have to have a surgery. Those come with 
hefty medical bills. So my husband, who is fantastic at filming and editing and making really good videos that are awesome productions, I don't have that talent. So what you're getting is just the real raw life of back surgery because he has to work to pay the bills and I have to focus on getting rid of this granny walker. Any guesses on how long it will take me before I can ditch this thing? Put them in the comments below because I'm interested to see how many of you have more faith in me than I have in myself because right now I feel like this granny walker is never going to leave. <sighs> That's all I have for you for the moment and we will catch back in in a little bit and we will check on my progress. Determination. All you need is just a little bit, guys. Just a little bit. It's about all I have right now and I'm tired. I'm ready to go lay back down. We'll see you in the next one. The nice thing about my house is it came equipped with a handicapped bathroom. So there's like handicapped grab bars. And when you go into the shower, it's nice because you have a handheld wand, which is super helpful. If you're having any type of surgery, get you one of those because it makes all the difference. It also has like handicapped grab bars in my shower. So it makes it super easy when you have a hard time lifting, standing, and maneuvering. All right, guys, I'm going to call it good for vlog number five. I got a shower, and that was amazing, but now I am so exhausted. I think I'm going to take a nap, so I'm going to go take my nap. You guys keep being the awesome pupil you are, and don't give up. Keep smiling. Eee. Yeah. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog, which will be vlog number six. Keep after it. Y'all rock. See you later.